Well, hello everyone. Today we're going to look at one of the major ways that this Luciferian religion, the indoctrination, is being put upon the young people in our society through these so-called transformational festivals, which is these big raves and concerts uh, where lots and lots of younger people generally are going to uh, and being indoctrinated with this false religious system, which is the worship of Lucifer, the New Age. But Tomorrowland is a big one that is very popular at the moment, if you haven't heard of it. And just look at the symbolism that is being shown here. You know, Tomorrowland, the land of tomorrow, the New Age, the, the Age of Aquarius, this is promoting that thing. And you see even there, the, the logo for it has the all-seeing eye with the crown, the Antichrist symbolism, the coming Antichrist to rule this false utopia. And then the butterfly wings as a symbol of mind control, MK Ultra, but also the transformation, how a butterfly represents that ascension and that transformation. And these festivals, are doing that. This is the very purpose of them, to try and transform people's minds into believing the lie, the, the delusion of the, this Luciferian religion, which basically worships the Antichrist, worships the false light. You can just see it there with the, the symbolism, very blatant. Look, live today, love tomorrow, unite forever. So the false unity of the beast confederation, the beast kingdom, the false peace that the Bible talks about, this coming false peace under the Antichrist, like in the Tower of Babel, where they tried to unite the world to ascend above God. Yeah, now this uh, recent Tomorrowland was called Life. The theme was life, and you see here on, on the emblem the symbol here they used is this occultic flower of life it's total you know blatant pagan stuff you see life there and the the flower of life opens towards the stars so it's it's talking about this return to eden this new creation this new world you know as i said before they they call this the return to eden and it's a counterfeit it's a counterfeit that is mimicking uh, the millennial reign of Christ, directly copying and mimicking the Bible as always. They, they just invert things in the Bible and they copy it and, and have this, they have this idea that they can ascend to this, this, ne this new world, this new age, this age of Aquarius, if you like. That's what the enemy does, just steal, kills and destroys, just copies uh, the things that are written in the Bible about this false ascension. And then you see the symbolism on there with the red and blue. It's the square and compass of the Freemasons. I mean, you, you, you couldn't get any more blatant than that, right? It is Freemasonic doctrine. It is self-elevation. And you will not believe how blatant some of these things are. That all of these young people are going to these events and they think it's something cool, something quirky, and really it's just Luciferian propaganda that they're opening themselves up to when they're enjoying the music with their friends, they're having a drink, taking illicit things, and then they're opening themselves up to this indoctrination and mind control. And you see there, the, in the clouds, the golden age represented with the wings, this fallen angel, a Luciferian, now, one of the events that's popular at Tomorrowland is called Afterlife. You can see that, I'll show you here, this is the crowd, and I'll show you some of the images that come up during the rave at these events. And this is what is, uh, people are being indoctrinated by, as I said. You know, you see here what looks like Adam and Eve coming up on the screen in front of the crowd. You've got Adam on the left and Eve on the right. Now, Look at, interestingly, look at what you'll see here. He's in a grassy covering and she is transhuman. You know, she has changed from a, a normal human being into a transhuman-like 
robot type thing. So isn't that interesting? When you consider, especially that Eve was the one that took a bite from the forbidden fruit, was the first one. And so you see that she has maybe gone to, ascended to a level above human, the next stage in, in human evolution, which he hasn't. And you'll see this play out throughout this show. Very, very creepy as these people are watching these raves and they're all like, you know, beaming their energy and their, their, their consciousness together as, as ravers and as dancers. And they're all kind of screaming and cheering and worshipping the front of the stage. And you've got Adam and Eve, uh, you know, walking towards the crowd. Her in a transcended state, like a transhuman state, as the one who, who bit from the apple first. And then you've got um, all of these beasts behind them. Nothing good. Days of Noah stuff. You've got all these Nephilim uh, beasts and monsters and hybrids that are seemingly come out of the pit and that they are walking through the Garden of Eden together and being led by Adam and Eve, but by Eve who has transcended to the next stage of human evolution. And then the stage goes, goes black and you see the wings at the top. Often you see these wings. We've seen them in other shows as well. The, you know, the Ascension, the Luciferian religion. And you see these weird, strange entity, these transhuman figures grabbing onto these, uh, being connected into the matrix. You see um, being plugged into the matrix. And you see all of this taking place as these people, um, nearly all of them, wouldn't know what this symbolism represents. It gets wings, like fallen angel wings, and, and we're basically looking at these entities um, being worshipped, being worshipped at Tomorrowland. This is the land of tomorrow, folks. This is their afterlife. This is their view. This is their theology. Their god is Apollo. Their god is... The, the Antichrist. Um, and this is, look at, look at what it shows. Look at what it shows, these, the fallen, you know. And so it seems like quite often when they're representing these things, that they're, they keep showing their goal to bring hell to earth, to bring these things through the veil. You know, and you see that this, uh, this transhuman figure gets plugged into the matrix and it just makes you wonder you know what the the mark of the beast could be that comes along but we see a lot of this symbolism of like a, a Nietzsche idea of of uh, the ubermensch the the overman the the next stage of human evolution and ascending above what it is to be human but you think that they've taught evolution in schools so they've got this idea into people, that, but they're, they're nothing but animals that are ascending or evolving into next stages. And so now everyone thinks that, well, we're nothing more than animals anyway. And we, you know, it's natural for us to progress. The survival of the fittest, that the next stage of ev uh, human evolution is inevitable. And those that hold us back from it need to be taken out of the way or need to be got rid of because they're holding us all back as humanity. People who don't go along with this agenda will be holding us all back, holding humanity back from the new age. And so this, uh, as the music pumps out, this, this robotic entity looks at the crowd and is now connected to the matrix. You see the light going through all those cables and they look at the crowd as the crowd scream on. Yeah, you think about the mark of the beast. And, and all that and, and what it might be promoting. But you see there how it has all these portal symbolism and, and these um, false goddesses and everything that being shown in the middle of these portals. Remember, God is in control. Uh, you know, in the Bible, it's clear that Jesus Christ opens the seals. So nothing is going to happen without God's permission. And when God does allow certain things to happen, from what I read in the end times, we know that it's for judgment, that, you know, he allows certain things to happen because he brings judgment on the earth. So, you know, the enemy does not have the power of God. God is the one that has the last say. He's the one that is in control. Even if these 
elitists, Luciferians and social manipulators think they have some kind of control, they really don't. They're just, they're just doing their symbolic magic to try and represent things, um, but they are in a strong delusion themselves. So they have been lied to and they're caught up in a false system of beliefs. That's the Adam and Eve with the Eve on the right hand side there. She is, uh, you know, ascended to a higher level of human because she ate the apple perhaps. And Adam is still in his earthly uh, coverings. And behind them, as you see, as they walk through the garden, you can see that they have a whole army of giants of Nephilim or of uh, hybrids that are following behind them, like somehow this Adam and Eve figure have, um, you know, brought these things forth. And there you go, it's just crazy, isn't it, what it's representing perhaps here. You know, this is just my uh, interpretation of what I see here. You know, you can see there that this is what that's representing. She's even glowing there, and you can see in the garden that some of the plants are lighting up um, with like a transhumanist glint to them. So this is what they're leading armies and hordes of beasts from the pit and Nephilim, perhaps, days of Noah stuff. Uh, and that's what people are watching on the screen, but they have no idea what they're watching. Most of, nearly all of them, I doubt many of them at all, have any idea what they're giving their energy to and what they're, they're worshipping when they see this. And it reminds me that, you know, the great delusion that will come on the earth, that the whole world will wander after the beast, those who are not saved, Christians, those who are not saved by Jesus Christ. And we see some interesting symbolism here of like this pair of lungs that come up. And you see on, on the left-hand side, it's like a, a transhuman-y, robotic, mechanical lung. And then the other side is the natural, like... Um, grass and things so it's like the is it like the iron and clay and it, it, the mixture the, the 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 counterfeit mixture between the two of mixing um you know transhumanism with uh, natural things so you see there you see them there together this set of lungs and this is what people are watching and then to conclude with this you see adam and eve coming together on the screen She's like, look, she seems ascended, look, she's got wings and she's got that transhuman element to the next stage of human evolution, look, and he doesn't, he's still in his earthly covering. And then they put their hands together and they, they both get wings, but he's, you know, he's got the earthly one and she's got this uh, ascended one. And they both, it looks like they have the globe of the, the earth together. Adam actually then begins to transform as well that she kind of leads him, she leads him into this deception. You see Adam here, he begins to change. The Adam figure begins to change and, and it all lights up on his wings. And you see portals again. And then they, Adam and Eve seem to merge together and they show a lot of this like almost Hindu God symbolism. And they merge together, you'll see here, um, I think it's this picture, that's the two separate ones, and they come together as one, but they, it just, they, they enter into this deception, it seems. So this is what they keep showing, folks. Ascension of self-ascension above human into this new world, this new age, this tomorrow land. So that's what we see here, folks. A lot of weird symbolism, entities from the other side of the veil, um, transhuman entities, fallen angels, Luciferian stuff and the fall of man almost being promoted as a good thing to open the gates to build this new Tower of Babel. But we know the truth is that Adam and Eve rebelled against God, they chose sin, they chose self and that cut us off from our Creator. And it's not a good thing, it's not an ascension, it led us to sin and death. You know, the reason this world is as it is, it's dark, it's bad, there's sin, there's pain, there's disease, that's because we rebelled against God. So this is not the solution to rebel more. The solution is to turn to Jesus Christ, who bridged the gap, the chasm that our sin caused that separated us from our Creator. So if we turn to Jesus Christ, repent and believe, trust that he paid the price for our sin on the cross, we will one day be with him and be reunited with our Creator. 
Only through his sacrifice, he shed his blood for our sins. He's the only way to heaven. God bless everyone. Thanks for listening.